What is going on guys? Welcome to your 10th XHTML tutorial and in this tutorial what I'm going to be talking about is how to resize an image because sometimes you just have images on your website that are just either they're probably way too big or maybe they're way too long width wise so sometimes we need to learn how to resize an image so they fit better on our website so what I did before this tutorial is I went ahead and I took a huge image of this video game right here Madden what year is it Madden 10 and I threw in my directory so I uh, you know I didn't want to show you guys me doing that because it would just waste time but this image is way larger than we need for our website so we need to figure out a way to resize it and put it on our website so first and foremost what we want to do is actually get it on our website before we start shrinking stuff so let's go ahead and we know how to do that image let's go ahead and put our ending tag right now and for the source the name is madden1.jpg so let's go ahead and save this and see how it looks oh mama this is like the biggest image ever no one's ever going to be to be able to tell what that is that's like a billboard size image right there so we want to shrink it so it's like only 150 pixels tall so in order to shrink that image here's what we need to do not only does the image parameter or excuse me the image tag take an attribute called source but it also takes another attribute called height and we can set this equal to whatever number of pixels we want I want my image to be 150 pixels tall so for height set it equal to 150 now go ahead and save this save this what the heck save this and refresh your screen gotta get all my S's in order and refresh it and see what we get yeah that's a whole lot better than that big mumbo jumbo billboard poster we had on there earlier so now we have a beautiful small 150 pixel tall Madden 10 image so you know if you're making a site like eBay or something that might come in handy so before I just let you guys go I want to talk to you guys about a couple things uh, you know this is going to be useful information later on whenever you resize an image this way it doesn't you know make your you might be thinking this alright I'll make all my images smaller and that way my web page will load faster because the file size will be smaller it doesn't work like that what your browser is doing is it's loading that huge big image you know downloading however many bits that is and then it's shrinking it so you're not loading a small image you're loading the huge image and you're just making it look smaller so in that sense your web page is not going to speed up at all it has to download that huge image no matter what so it would be better if you wanted your web page to load faster if you went ahead into a program like Photoshop or something and actually took this image and shrunk it so the image size was smaller itself and then you just posted that on your website so in that way that's what you should do you shouldn't always you know take huge images and just post them and resize them down like I showed you right here what you should do the preferred way is go into a vid or excuse me um, an image editing program and make it a smaller file and then put it on your website so that's a lot easier way it saves your browser excuse me your browser from doing any extra work so you're saying alright Bucky why the heck would you even teach me that if that's the preferred way to do so well that way is helpful when you know you're going to be making an image like maybe you're making a website with a logo it's useful when you add images to the website but what if you had a website like amazon.com or ebay or even facebook where you allowed users to upload images of any size and you shrunk them down to what you wanted them to be well i think i just answered my own question this is only useful whenever you're going to have um, a website like eBay where you can say alright upload any size image you want and I'm gonna shrink them so they all fit nice and neat that is when you would want to use something like that but trust me making websites like eBay and Amazon are a couple tutorials away from now so anyways that is the basics of resizing an image when you should do it and when you shouldn't do it and why it doesn't save you any loading time to do it this way so anyways thank you guys for watching and uh, the next story will probably be talking a little more about images maybe finishing them up so anyways practice adding some images to your website and uh, let me know how it goes so uh, thank you guys for watching I'll see you later